Days have passed since the historic Starship launch attempt, and the excitement is still fresh. In this video, we'll talk about the serious damage to the launch pad in nearby areas. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting space content. Now let's dive into the story. On April 20th, SpaceX's Starship conducted its first ever fully stacked test flight, reaching a maximum altitude of 24 miles before an uncontrollable tumble forced its destruction. When the dust settled after liftoff, a scene of wreckage emerged. Starship's 33 first-stage Raptor engines blew out a crater beneath the orbital launch mount, pummeling nearby infrastructure with flying chunks of cement and other debris. Footage from the scene captured by Lab Padre's VR camera showed the aftermath of the launch near the launch and catch tower. This was the first time Starship had attempted such a powerful launch, with 30 of the 33 Raptor engines firing at full capacity, generating an impressive 16.5 million pounds of thrust. SpaceX Starbase's orbital launch mount does not have a flame trench, a structure designed to deflect plume exhaust away from the pad during liftoff. Flame trenches are common features of pads hosting powerful rockets, such as NASA's Space Launch System or SLS Mega Rocket, which recently launched from Kennedy Space Center's Pad 39B. SLS's first flight endured 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust, and while hardware at the pad suffered some damage, it mostly withstood the force. In contrast, Starship's first stage Raptors produce about 16.5 million pounds of thrust when firing at full capacity. SpaceX had considered digging a flame trench at Starbase, but ultimately decided against it. Musk stated in October 2020, aspiring to have no flame diverter in Boca, but this could turn out to be a mistake. This decision might have contributed to the significant damage the pad experienced during the recent launch. The force created by Starship's Raptor engines was incredibly strong, so much so that people living in Port Isabel, Texas, about six miles away from SpaceX's Starbase, felt the ground shake as if they were going through an earthquake. The sound of the engines was deafening, and the intensity was such that windows broke into pieces. The launch caused dust, dirt, and other particles to soar into the sky, eventually falling onto Port Isabel and nearby areas. The storage tanks containing liquid methane and liquid oxygen close to the orbital launch site also suffered considerable damage. As for the Starship itself, substantial fragments of debris were found on the area's beaches soon after the devastating explosion. Local residents and authorities had no choice but to close off roads and beaches to facilitate cleanup efforts. To help with the process, SpaceX even established a hotline for anyone who discovered parts of the wreckage. This incident drew the attention and curiosity of people from all walks of life as they were fascinated by the sheer power of the event and the recovery process that followed. But what about the environmental impact on wildlife? According to a U.S. Fish and Wildlife report, SpaceX's activities have already significantly reduced bird populations in the area. However, the company managed to get through the environmental review without an in-depth impact statement. SpaceX engineers have begun the crucial task of assessing the damage sustained by the launch pad and its surrounding infrastructure. These assessments will allow the company to identify the necessary repairs and improvements needed before the next launch attempt can be scheduled. The process of preparing for a rocket launch is both exciting and complex. One of the first steps involves inspecting the launch and catch tower, which is essential for the safe lifting and handling of rockets during the process. Engineers carefully examine the tower for any structural damage, making sure that support systems like winches, clamps, and load-bearing components are functioning well and reliable. Another critical aspect of the preparations is evaluating the tank farm. Situated close to the launch pad, the tank farm stores liquid oxygen and methane fuel, which are vital for the Starship's operation. Engineers need to assess the area for potential leaks, structural damage, or any issues that could put the launch process at risk. Lastly, it's essential to consider the environmental impact of the launch. SpaceX works closely with local authorities and wildlife organizations to address any necessary cleanup and ensure that the launch site's natural environment is preserved. By taking proper precautions, the company can minimize its impact on wildlife and keep the launch site eco-friendly. 
Given the scope of these assessments and the potential for significant repair work, it is estimated that it could take several months before the launch pad and surrounding infrastructure are ready for another launch attempt. Despite the damage to the launch pad, Musk believes that SpaceX has a way forward without incorporating a flame trench. He tweeted that SpaceX had started building a massive water-cooled steel plate to go under the launch mount three months prior to the debut launch. However, the plate wasn't ready in time, and SpaceX assumed the heat-resistant concrete called Fondag could survive one liftoff. Installing energy and heat suppression infrastructure like water-cooled steel plates, or even reconsidering the implementation of a flame trench could help prevent the kind of damage and disruption caused by the recent launch. Despite the rocket's explosion, the event still marked a historic moment as the largest and most powerful rocket ever to fly. No one appeared disappointed, not even SpaceX, which celebrated the achievement of the rocket lifting off and clearing the launch pad. The company acknowledged this milestone on Twitter, stating, Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting first integrated flight test of Starship. In another tweet, SpaceX emphasized the importance of learning from setbacks, saying, With a test like this, success comes from what we learn, and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multi-planetary. In the meantime, Musk announced that the next Starship launch attempt could happen in one to two months. While this may seem optimistic given the extent of the damage, it reflects the company's commitment to learn from the experience and swiftly address the challenges faced during this debut launch. Musk also envisions the Starship as a critical component in building a city on Mars. The rocket's reusable design and the use of liquid methane and oxygen as fuel make it more environmentally friendly and cost-effective than its predecessors. The recent Starship launch has provided valuable insights into the potential challenges and risks associated with the project. As SpaceX continues to learn and adapt from these experiences, it will be better prepared for future launches, ensuring the safety and success of its ambitious space exploration goals. What are your takes from this historic launch? Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more space-related content.